I'm just a sec. Yes, Raina, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, so how was your day? Mm-hmm. And we got three marks for that one test that we did. Mm-hmm. And I got an A, B, B. A, B, B. Yeah. Okay, B in which and A in which? Three um, three marks out of how much? Um, three marks. But there's four, four, I don't know where I kept it. Um, so there are three, like, um, three marks for one of A and one of Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we need to know A in which and B in which, isn't it? Okay. So, are you satisfied with the marks? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Fine. Now, uh, today, what are we doing in maths? You didn't have maths in school? Uh, not this year, not this okay. I know I did it. We, did, we had a spiral level mm-hmm. Um But wait, um, I have some questions to. Sure. Complete the table. Area of trapezium, you know. How do you find you remember the formula? Yeah, so half mm-hmm. plus a plus eight. 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 Uh, you need to zoom in a bit. That is half times eight plus twelve. Okay, how much is eight plus? Uh, see, you just need to solve it. Eight plus twelve is how much? Okay, 20 is inside the bracket. Okay, then it's multiplied by half and 6. That half can easily strike off 6. How many times? Three. So, that 3 goes over there. So, you multiply it anyhow. Either 20 by uh, 2 times 6. Because... Yeah, because it is a a product. So it twenty times three divide by two. Yeah. Divide by two. Oh. You forgot, <laughs> right? Now, what mistake are you making? Mm-hmm. Share the question. 
Sorry? This is the wrong file. Which one? Um, you need to zoom in because I cannot see it if it's very. Yeah. Evaluate the brackets first. Yeah, so that would be 20. Mm -hmm. Then half times 6, which is. Uh, or any other way to evaluate the bracket? 3. If you are writing uh, 3, then you cannot write divide by 2, isn't it? So 6 comes over there instead of 3. We are going step by step. Oh, so then this will be 40. We are going step by step, right? Half to 8 plus 12 is 20. That goes over there. But 6 and half are still there. So is Okay, let's go to the whiteboard. Much better. I take that question on the whiteboard so that I can uh, just uh, show me. Uh, see, it is half or in simple term A plus B by 2 times H, isn't it? A plus B times 2 into H. Okay, I just share the whiteboard with you. Just a second. Okay, what is A and what is B? How much is H? How much is the height given? Um, height is 6. Height is 6. Okay, how much is A? Um, 8 and then B is 12. Okay, 8 and 12, right? A and B. Yes, sir, that is 8 plus 12 by 2 times 6. We don't write 3 until unless we don't divide it. 8 plus 12, 20 by 2 times 6. 6 times uh, 20 is 120 by 2, which is equal to 60. That is a step. So they want you to evaluate the bracket first. It means it is this. Yeah. So practically it is 20 times 6 divided by 2. It should be the next step. But it's wrong. Then share the question back again. Share, show the question back again. We missed something in the question. something we are missing in the question then uh, I think this is wrong so 20 times 6 so wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> what happened uh, it should be this there I got it. Got it. So you were writing 3. Second time you wrote 20 and 6, but no 2. Yes. That is 16 and 7. 7. Height is 7 and 9. Yes. Find the area of the trapezium. Consider the trapezium below, which has. Uh, been split into triangle and a rectangle okay that is a question so we have 16 9 and 7 keep that in mind 16 9 are a and b 7 is a height uh, yeah, find the area of the rectangle only area of the rectangle yeah. how much is the area of rectangle uh-huh great triangle is area of a triangle is how much height is 
सर यस हाउ डू गेट बेस हाउ डू गेट बेस Um, it will be seven, and then you do this times seven, twenty-four point five. Yes. Now so find the area of the trapezium. Add the Just two. Yes. Add them together. Yeah. Yes. So. Because nothing is overlapping. Nothing is overlapping. So only add it. Correct. Okay. Yeah. This is the next question. Mm-hmm. So area of triangle that is nine times eight. So this one will be four times six. Mm-hmm. Four is six, and then that will be twenty-four. Oh, this. Okay. Now find the area of parallelogram. So then this will be. Four times six, but it will be. What is the formula for the per- parallel part? We had shared the formula. I gave you the formula. Yeah. We we did parallelogram when we were doing that Q math sheet, isn't it? What factor you are lacking over there? See, parallelogram has two opposite sides are equal. Yeah. So it is going to be base times height. Base times height. So it will also be twenty-four. Twenty-four. Mm-hmm. Nice. Those three, four, and five are reattempts, or it shows the red color. Why? Oh, because this one I got um wrong multiple times. Mm-hmm. So it didn't accept. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. So that goes accuracy goes down, right? It yeah. can't count. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, these are just activities. Mm-hmm. Okay. Find the area of one of the triangles. Okay. The rhombus on the left can be split into two triangles. Find the area of the triangle. Now it's an isosceles triangle. We are having the base seven. Zero point five times four. Hmm. Four is four is a a complete diagonal, or is it half? Equals seven. Yeah. If I find the area of the rhombus, which mm-hmm. is this, so it will be seven times plus seven is four two. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is the next one. This is is the rhombus. If the rhombus is formed into the rectangle on the right, with the length and the width of the rectangle, what do? What do they? So the length of the rectangle the length would be it's the same yeah so it will be 12 and 8 8 and 12 mhm okay so it always always Is that? It says it's wrong. 
how did you calculate the eight factor what is it as- what is it asking in the numbers is formed into the rectangle on the right what is the length in the three okay. yes length would still be 12 is it yeah. and what no, <laughs> the area of the rhombus so it will be 12 times 8 96 what is the formula for area of a rhombus oh 0.5 oh half in yes that half factor you forgot okay. half times length of the diagonal isn't it Right on the left in this present triangle such one. May I find the area of the triangle? Okay. That is easy. Six is complete diagonal. Check it back again. Six is a complete diagonal. They want you to find mm-hmm. of a triangle first, isn't it? Or the complete ti- kite triangle. Oh, so, what is the height going to be? No. No. no height of a triangle is one of the diagonals of the kite one way it is 60 one way it is 10 that is correct what about the other cross side that 6 is complete 6 is complete yeah. so it has to be half no the height will be half for half triangle no. Area of a triangle is half base times height. Yeah, 0.5 times 10 hmm. times 6. It's 30. Did you get it correct? No, 0.5 times 6 times 10. No, wait. Yeah, it's 30. It's not right. Yes, it's not correct. Why? Focus on the diagram again. See the height. See the height. See the height of the triangle. Height, not the base. Base is 10. Height, that complete diagonal is 6. Half of 6 is going to be how much? 3. Yeah, so why you are taking 6? why you are taking 6 you are taking the complete diagonal no you needed half whether the whole area of the kite yes area of the kite formula mhm do i need 0.5 sorry do i need 0.5 for kite yes yes you need half A B C D is a rhombus. A C is a diagonal. X and B D is a diagonal of V. Mm-hmm. Diagonal. So the first diagonal is twelve. X and Y. Its measure is given over there. Four and three. Oh, yeah. X equals to four. Y equals five. Five or three. Mm-hmm. So it will be 10. Mm-hmm. Okay, now this one will be... Um, It's a kite. Yes, that will be 11. And 8. Mm-hmm. So it will be 0.5 and 11 and 6. 16.5. Six eleven times six is how much? Sixty six. Sixty six divided by two. Yeah. 
Raina tired? No. School was hectic? No, just hectic. Okay. Rearrange the parallelogram into a rectangle. Um, and then this is 5 times 19. Two, oh, oh. Done. Done. Okay. Yeah. That was good. Yep. Okay. Let's see when. Um. Now what? Parameter circumference units of measurement by the theorem surface area and volume of prisms. Okay, just, <coughs> just a second. Let me try and get questions from your textbook. Somehow I managed to download Australia school curriculum textbook. So let's see. You're having perimeter in this, right? Oh, yeah, I think so. We don't use textbook so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why. So we don't actually... Uh, See, there are topics, numbers, algebras, data, measurement, and space. Measurement uh, includes perimeter and circumference we had covered. We covered perimeter and circumference. Units of measurement... Then there's Pythagoras theorem, surface area and volume. Yeah. Okay, so let's go for, I think, Pythagoras. Should be the 78. Okay, I'll be sharing my screen with you. The questions are on this side you read the question okay yeah. and then you are attempting it just uh, work out the calculation at your side no problem so once you work out the calculation at your side then we start with simple ones okay fine just a second mm. What's that? You can see it, right? Or you want me to zoom in more? Uh, I can see. Okay. What's that? What's that? That uh, something like scale. Okay, find the perimeter of the following. Uh, okay. Um, if. No, wait, perimeter. Perimeter. Oh, wait. Um. Raina. That was the easiest question I started with. <laughs> We covered perimeter and circumference area also. We need the perimeter. Twenty one. Okay, that was good start. Next. Mm 
Okay. Okay. So this is going to be twenty-one. Okay. That. Okay. That will be. That will be thirty-four. How thirty-four? How you got thirty-four? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. and four. The ones that are marked are equal and then there. Okay. There are two different types of lines. Focus on those. Yes. Twenty-seven. How you come to conclusion twenty-seven? Five plus five plus five is fifteen. Uh huh. And then there's six two root, which is two r. Okay. Now, if you are taking this five, five, and five. Other two small triangles are only going to have two sides. Oh, wait! <laughs> Isn't it? Two, four, six, and then twelve, and then wait. What? No, it's right. Now that's an uh, equilateral triangle because all three sides measure same. That is marked. So each side is five centimeters. Now you take that complete triangle, five centimeters, five centimeter, five centimeter. It makes fifteen. That is correct. But then that small triangle, the side is uh, the side. Two sides are two centimeter, two centimeter. The third side you already included in five centimeter, isn't it? So that would not be included. Fifteen plus four plus four. So how much? Uh, so it will be fifteen plus eight is then going to be um twenty-three. Hmm. Yes. Okay, circumference. You remember the formula? Um, Correct to two decimal places. One was. Pi r square and one was something else. I think I told you. Two pi r. Hmm. So it will be so two pi. Okay. So it will be two mm -hmm. times. What if r is given? What if d is given? R is um two. Mm hmm. Wait, no. What is it called again? Was it four three twenty two by seven? Was it twenty two by seven? Yes. Yeah. Twenty two by seven or three point one four. Both are same. Yeah. So it'll be three point one four times two times um four is twenty five point one four. You are taking two pi r or two pi d. What you are taking? Four is the d, not r. If you are taking two, you cannot take d. <laughs> two times three point one four times two. Mm -hmm. Which is twelve point five six. Okay. Don't get confused with r and d. Practically. They are still 
the same second one three Okay. So it will be three point one four times two and then times one point five. Hmm. Nine point four two. Three point two four. Three point one four times two times one point five, right? Yeah. Okay. Next, this. Uh, okay, so it will be three point one four times two times three one point four. Three point one four times two times. Uh, times five. Mm hmm. How much? Three one point four. Okay. Eight centimeters. Twenty five point five. There. John walks. Question number three. walks around a circular running track as Peter walks directly across the middle of it from one side to the other. If Peter walks 300 meters, how far did Johnny walk? Mm -hmm. It will be 3.14 times 2 times, which will be 11,831.52. Point <sighs> How did you come to that conclusion? We do 3.14 mm -hmm. times 2. Mm -hmm. Times? Do, oh, times 1500. Oh, times 150. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be 942. Yes, second. Uh, second? Fourth time in. So three point one four times two times twenty thousand circumference. That is a circumference, not the radius or diameter. It is the circumference of the Earth is forty thousand kilometers. If you were to drill a hole from the surface to the center, from the surface to the center means the radius. How far you have to drill? That means um, circumference is given. You need to find the radius. Circumference is 40,000. You need to find the radius. Okay. 20,000. How? Um, because 40,000 divided by 2 is 20. And what about that pi? Oh. <laughs> C by 2 pi, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it will be 40,000 by 2. 40,000 by 2 times 3.14. 31,400. Mm -hmm. Three different answers, three times. <laughs> 3,100. <laughs> 3,104. No, 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 no. Okay, that is 40,000. Practically, we have 40,000 divided by 2 pi. So, 2 times 3.14. You gave me an answer. How much? 31,400. Okay. How much is 20,000 divided by 3.14? You have to divide 20,000. Yeah, 20,000 times 3.14, 62,800. And then you... How can, how can you... 
increase when you are dividing. 20,000 cannot be 60,000. When you are dividing, Twenty thousand divide by three point one four. It is sixty six thousand three hundred and sixty nine point forty. Yes. Okay. Fifth. Okay. It will be three point one four times two times one so really six point two eight okay a piece of string is cut so it fits exactly across a circle going through its center if the cut piece of the string measures one meter what is the distance around the outside of the circle that means they're asking the circumference so two pi r if that string is exactly one meter it goes through that means one meter is the radius of the diameter yes. what is it is it the radius or is it the diameter the diameter yes it's a diameter okay so how much is its circumference how much you told it is, uh, oh, it is going to be pi d pi d that is 3.14 times one we are taking one meter as a diameter 3.14 multiplied by one is how much 3.14 is going to be its circumference you look tired today what happened then Okay. Okay, question six. Yeah. An equilateral triangle sits exactly on the top of a square. If the side length of the square is 20 centimeter, what is the distance around the whole shape? You need to be imaginative. You want me to draw the figure for you? Uh, it will be 400. Yeah. 20 centimeters is the length of each side. Wait, wait, wait. 400. Breathe in oxygen, Raina. Breathe in oxygen. <laughs> 20 centimeter is the length of the side. That is also the length of the equilateral triangle side. How? I'm not sure. Okay. Let me draw this one for you. There. Let's show a tab. Okay, there. Let's say this is a square. Yeah. Okay, and this is an equilateral triangle that rests exactly above it. And this is 20. Now the point is this, 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 and this. All measure same. So practically it is 20 times 5. five. How much is that? Yeah. How much? 100. Yes. So it won't be 800. Okay. Okay. 
A rectangle of sides 3 cm and 4 cm is cut across its diagonal to form a triangle. What is the perimeter of the triangle? A rectangle side 3 cm and 4 cm. You can draw it in the notebook and check. Why? Three centimeter, four centimeter, cut exactly across its diagonal. So to form a triangle, perimeter of the triangle. Okay, so I think it will be twelve. Uh, it will be um, what's it called? Uh, Sixteen. How? Because it's five sides, or no four sides, sorry, four sides. Mm -hmm. Three, so three times four is twelve, and then plus four is going to be. Um, 60. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's understand this this way. Let's see here. Okay, now what I do is to make it convenient, let's take a shape over here. Mm, rectangle there. That is a rectangle. And what it says is this. It is cut. So this is Four, and this is three. They need the perimeter of the triangle. Yeah. That is the perimeter of this triangle. Yeah. How do we find it? Um, three plus four. How? Pythagoras theorem, you came across Pythagoras theorem. A rectangle is a right angle triangle. Two sides are given. You need to find the third side. How do you find the third side of a triangle if it is not given? Here, the third side of the triangle is not given. Two sides of the rectangle is given. You cut the rectangle into two. From the across its diagonal, it forms a right angle triangle. One side of the triangle measures four. Second side of the triangle measures three. But we don't know the third side of the triangle. So how do we find the measure of the third side? Because we need the perimeter. To calculate the perimeter, we need the measure of all three sides. Now, if the measure of two sides is given, third side is not given of a right angle triangle. We use Pythagoras theorem to find the measure of third side. You came across Pythagoras theorem? Yeah. It's there in... 7th grade Pythagoras theorem okay now see as per uh, a right angle triangle okay I draw this right angle triangle yeah. now a right angle triangle just having three sides yeah. okay we have just flipped it so this becomes four this becomes three and this becomes something say a okay yeah. now as per the formula it is like uh, the side a that is the longest side a square will be equal to other sum of other two sides that is four square plus three square yeah. four square is how much four times four four fours are 16. 3 3 is a 9. How much is 16 plus 9? Uh, 25. 25. So A square is equal to 25. That means A is going to be square root of 25. Root 25. Root 25 is how much? That is equal to 5. 
so yeah. the third side is measuring five now you can calculate the perimeter of this triangle five plus four plus three how much um, four plus three plus nine twelve twelve that is the perimeter of this triangle okay that is one way to calculate its perimeter of a right angle triangle this formula only works for any triangle that is a right angle triangle if the triangle is not a right angle triangle you cannot use this formula to calculate this uh, measure of third side okay pythagoras theorem is only applicable for right angle triangle otherwise it is not applicable for all triangles is that clear Yes. So keep that in mind. Next time, do not use this formula if it's not mentioned in a right angle triangle. How we come to a conclusion that we need to use this formula because the question said a rectangle. A rectangle has all four sides that measure ninety degrees. So each angle is ninety degrees. That means a rectangle when when you cut it across its diagonal, it forms a right angle triangle. That is why we use this formula. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. You will come across this question. Don't worry in your syllabus. So, as per you, this one was difficult. Let's see. Okay. Little more challenging. Question number eight. A circular athletics field has a circumference of 400. If a javelin thrower can hurl at the javelin a maximum of 18 meters, is it, is it safe to throw javelins in the field without being a danger to runners? Allow 10 meters for javelin thrower to run out. <laughs> Just mental work. A circular so athletic field. Mean, circumference is given over there. Javelin thrower can hold the javelin maximum 80 meters. That means mm -hmm. the circumference should fall within the javelin is expected to fall inside the circle. Mm -hmm. That is one condition. Second condition, at least 10 meters for the javelin thrower to run. Yeah. So, how do you find this? Circumference 400 meters. First, what you are going to find? <coughs> um, 400 divided by 80? No. no. No, no, no. See, it's a simple question for circumference and perimeter of a circle. Now, circumference is 400 meters. Yeah. The, uh, the lengthiest line in a circle is called as its diameter. That means yeah. if the javelin thrower is standing at one point on the circle, the maximum distance that is given to him could be the diameter. So first you need to see what diameter is there for the circle. How much is its diameter? If its circumference is 400, how much is the diameter? So the circumference is 400. Yes, the diameter, diameter would be circumference is pi d. So. 400 divided by 2 pi only pi right yes, we need the diameter so, so 3.15 no 400 divided by 3.14 hmm. would be how much 400 divided by 3.14 127.38 sorry 127.38 127.38 that is the maximum distance he's having now he throws a javelin with a maximum of 80 meters that is the second part of the question says uh, if a javelin thrower can hurl the javelin a maximum of 80 meters and he needs 10 meters for javelin throw to run up total distance is having 127 meters if he's starting from one point of the circle circumference so 80 plus 90 will uh, 80 plus 10 will make 90 127 minus 90 means he's still having some room that is called as a safe zone isn't it so it is safe 
how much distance would he be having is 127 minus 90. Why we take 90? Because 80 meters is what he throws and 10 meter distance you are supposed to keep as reserve safety. 80 plus 10 gives you 90. So how much is 127 minus 90? Uh, minus 90 is 37. So 37 is still the safe distance he's having with him. Okay. Perimeter questions are not so difficult. Are they difficult? Circle gets a bit tricky for you, I've noticed. Circumference and uh, area of a circle, you still find it tricky or difficult with the, I mean, confusing with the formula? Difficult. And difficult. Circle part is difficult. Rectangle part and triangle part is not difficult. See, for circle also, it's like only two formulas you need to keep in mind, nothing else. It's not so difficult. It's only about practice. Okay. Fine. Mm. Unit of measurement. There. Simple questions. How many meters in one millimeter? One centimeter and one kilometer. Um, in one, how many meters? Mm -hmm. In one millimeter. One thousand. How many meters in one millimeter? Ten thousand. <laughs> no. How do you convert? How many millimeters make one meter? No. Let's see. 1,000? Mm -hmm. You're confused with this? See, just keep this uh, format in mind for conversion of units. It works for any unit. Okay. So, let's uh, take this like that. And in between. Over here. Okay, now this is a standard. Suppose and we need meters. Meters come over here. All smaller units go on this side. All greater units go on this side. Okay, that is one thing. That means any smaller unit is smaller than a meter. Any greater unit is greater than a meter. Okay, now on this side, if we are having millimeters, millimeters, centimeter, and okay, I didn't share the screen. I just forgot to share this part of the screen. Wait, they should give convenience where automatically the screen should start sharing. I don't know why it's not there. Okay. Now on this side are all smaller. This is a standard unit. ST is a standard unit. So I write down meters over there. On this side are all smaller units. On this side are all greater units from the meters. Okay. So smaller units, millimeter, centimeter and decimeter greater units deca deca hepta and kilo hepta and then kilometers kilometers come over here between meters and kilometers you're having hecta and you're having deca okay so if i write down thousand over here it represents thousand meters is equal to one kilometer because under kilometers you're having one okay now now the question was how many millimeters millimeters is this 
the question <laughs> millimeter is a smaller unit so it cannot be thousand isn't it now let's go how many meters make a millimeter now let's see from here meter if i need how many uh, millimeters make a meter millimeter i place one then i place zero over here because no unit no unit and decimal and that means one meter let's make some space we are having meters how many meters make a millimeter and how many millimeters make a meter are two different things i write here thousand i am writing one under meter that means one meter is equal to thousand millimeter but when i change it how many millimeters then it becomes say under millimeter we are having one right and under meter we are having a decimal that means 0.001 so it depends on your conversion you are converting from bigger unit to smaller unit or you are converting from smaller unit to bigger unit that is what you need to keep in mind all units you cannot divide by 1000 because all units practically you do not divide by 1000 if i am saying 1 meter converted to kilometer meter is a smaller unit so obviously it cannot be a 1000 kilometer but 1 kilometer will be 1000 meters because kilometer is a bigger unit in the same way meters and millimeters meter is a bigger unit so 1 meter will be equal to 1000 millimeters but in case of millimeters it is going to be 0.001 when when you are converting from bigger unit to smaller unit you multiply when you convert from smaller unit to bigger unit you divide it that is what you need to keep in mind that is the easiest way to keep in mind okay you you have matrix conversions as a part of your syllabus isn't it matrix conversions are there right we came across questions where meters give you answer in centimeters that is conversions and the point is you need to know how to convert from meter to centimeter then you can give your answers in centimeters otherwise the answer is coming wrong although the calculations are correct but the answer is not correct because the unit is different okay yeah okay now i think uh, science what we need to do uh, we are not having science today now that is tomorrow okay just give me for tomorrow what we are supposed to do for tomorrow for science which topic you are having uh, something in science some topic or some questions in science worksheet no they don't hand over they must they don't hand over any worksheets uh, maybe we think we have it No, mm -hmm. no, we don't have it yet. We have not done anything yet. So, what topic we cover tomorrow in science? Last we were doing, last we were doing your worksheet. Before that, we started with a uh, something on. I think we covered a portion on. Uh, one on electricity, something like that. We were doing, and then before that, we started. with another topic aim variables aim and uh, variables we did that last time that was a part of your worksheet isn't it before that worksheet what topic were we covering um, energy energy so what do we do tomorrow um, in science we could do energy we could do energy we can do energy right energy from yeah. where do we start because last we were doing conversion of one form of energy to another we continue from there you are having numericals and energy you came across potential yeah. potential and kinetic energy right we came across yeah. that but we didn't go in depth we uh, went to conversion of energies so to uh, tomorrow i think we can start with the difference between potential and kinetic energy and you would be having numericals in potential and kinetic energy as far as i know right you would be having yeah. numericals in potential and kinetic energy 
So yeah. first we understand differences between potential kinetic energy and then we can move on to numericals okay and in maths what to do what, what topic to cover for tomorrow in maths um tell me current I topic that you are doing in school we can do that oh but, oh yeah i'm pretty sure we had a test that we're going to have come on friday which topic um uh, let me see and uh, um, it is here yeah, it is um, something big wait it was <laughs> I don't remember when it is. I'm pretty sure it's next Friday or this Friday. Okay. I just need to know the topic. So, <laughs> like, if I'm having the topic, okay. Oh, it's going to be area and parameter. Area and parameter. We have been practicing. So, I can get more worksheets on area and parameter. Not a problem. How are you finding my sessions? Okay. Okay. Can I, uh, your mom is there. Can, we, can I have a word with your mom? Wait, let me just go to her. Sure, sure, sure. No problem. Um, I'll be back. Yeah. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, I just wanted to ask feedbacks, like uh, how you find the classes are going on for Raina. No, they're, no, they're going pretty good. And I think even she's uh, like enjoying it. She's usually looking forward to class. <laughs> usually it is not the case. <laughs> <laughs> and that's good because we've been covering like uh, maths and science, right? So uh, yeah. you, uh, you requested for some homework. Uh, to be assigned to yeah, her. Because, um, it's just to keep her a little busy on the weekend. Uh -huh. Sometimes she's just like otherwise not. So I want you to just give her just as a practice also. Because her school assessments are mainly like happening in the week. Mm -hmm. And I want her to do something on the weekends, you know. Fine, fine, fine. As, as uh, just uh, recalling that homework thing, Raina, I think I gave you one sheet to work on. I forgot about it today. You didn't remind me. Yeah, <laughs> you also forgot. <laughs> Okay, so tomorrow, tomorrow we get it done. Okay, that's she'll do it. She'll do it. We can even solve it over here. Not, not an issue, right? So if anything else, like her exams and all, or whatever topics needs to be covered, uh, you can always put up those topics and all details in the group. So I can like uh, be prepared with those topics for her for worksheets and all. Have any concept of exams or anything like that? Mm -hmm. It's mostly the assessments that they give them. Fine. Yeah. So they work on that uh, case where they give them an assessment and mm -hmm. then they are like marked on that. So it's usually something like, do I think it's math? Because I don't know if you have quizzes, right? Uh, yeah. 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 You need to tell the teacher. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, I think it's going well. She can let you know because usually I'm reminding because the other day also she was talking about something. I said I have not heard of this topic. I said just let the teacher know because I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm letting her communicate with you. Fine. Fine. Yeah. She's communicating. Like I'm not having any issues with her communication part. Right. She shares those worksheets and assessments and all. So yeah. I feel like uh, she. And otherwise, how is she going? Like, like what do you? Uh, feedback like I, I would uh, rate Raina as above average. 
i'm not having any issues but some topics of obviously if it's not covered in a school then she may find it difficult but as per her grades like uh, it's okay i try and cover those topics over if she's not covered in school otherwise uh, whatever she's covered in school she's quite pretty clear with those topics <laughs> Fine. Another thing I had figured out, I think it's a bit uh, like too. Um, yeah, you don't do time, right? Yeah. No, the time, time. <laughs> the class time. You know, just the basic practice. Mm-hmm. Of, um. Because this is one thing that I felt that she's like struggling with it, is the time, the clock. Mm-hmm. So if you tell her, and if you put it in a worded problem, like let's say you know this uh, bus left at this time, reached at this time, mm-hmm. so how much time did it take? Mm-hmm. You know that lapsed time. So that's one thing that I have asked her a couple of times, and I feel that she's struggling. Like she must have missed that in school, because that's the foundation stage. Yeah. So any of the lessons, if you just, it's not like anything. I know like, mm-hmm. once you get the hang of it, it's probably just going to be one lesson. But just Fine. Give her a bit of sure, 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 ma'am. I'll keep it in mind. Yeah. I'll share that. Yeah. Work shit with her, no problem. Fine. I am also going on the Wednesday. Like, is she okay to do um like two hours or? Yeah, Wednesday. If she's comfortable, I don't have an issue. Like, okay. because uh, Wednesday is. Does she start losing concentration on the second class, or she's okay? <laughs> No, no, she doesn't lose concentration. Like because both are different. It's not a continuity of maths. One hour is mathematics, and then we shift on to science. So it's a completely change in subject. So obviously she does not. I had given her it once. So I asked her, and I said keep it another day, science. You know, if you want on the weekend. But she has a concept. No, she said I want to get over and done in one day. Okay, so I don't have problem like with that. Not an issue. Okay, fine, ma'am. Okay, okay, so we meet back tomorrow with Raina. Yeah. Bye, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you.